Hey, I'm Ubu. And I'm Aspen. And this is Movie Grits. Where we get into the nitty gritty of films that are crappy. And today, we're watching... The Pacifier. Okay, okay on, on with, with the, the show! show. <laughs> Alright, you ready to roll? Yeah. Ready to watch some Pacifier? Pacifier. All right. Full screen. Full screen. Subtitles. Subtitles. Chinese. <laughs> There's not English? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're in alphabetical order. Ooh. All right, we watching. Oh, this was Disney from the get-go. That's. Oh. I thought it was just like one of those studios you don't know the names of. Yeah, and then they Disney bought it. Yeah, like that. You know, one of the smaller companies owned by Fox or something. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised Spike if they glass. bought the movie though, and then put the uh, branding on it. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> I I feel like they specifically did that. with the pacifier. No, because recently I watched um, Monsters Inc. and that was a Pixar movie, but mm -hmm. Disney bought it, and they put the mm -hmm. Disney logo in the intro. And that wasn't there before. No, it was in the the door intro with all the doors. Yeah, I feel like like even whenever Pixar was its own thing, it was like the movies would still be produced by Disney, wouldn't they? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling. Pretty, yeah, I feel like I mean, they they used to be kind of independent of each other, but had like a working relationship. And then Disney just outright bought them. Mm. I'm pretty sure is how it went. OK, never mind. Conspiracy debunked. That's <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah, you had me like questioning my reality for a minute. <laughs> we are seals. Now let's go get us some salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, can we can we turn Mr. Seal down just a little bit? I can't think straight. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Volume. I don't want to actually hear the movie. We all know that. Yeah. It's a lot more fun to just talk over pictures <laughs> talk about my uh adam shankman Walt uh -oh. disney conspiracy don't send him to prison because he'll shank <laughs> he'll shank a man <laughs> Fryford. dude dude they've got like a little convoy what it good would like... like four jet skis do to protect <laughs> that big boat just saying, they look like the thumb thumbs on the jet ski <laughs> or the boats. <laughs> the thumb thumbs are trained Navy SEALs that have been <laughs> foogliified. Foogliified. <laughs> All to be thumbs. <laughs> All to be thumbs. There, there's one of these, uh, whatchamacallit, big action star does funny haha -ha family thing movies. And one of the characters in one of these types of movies is like either Sporticus or Robbie Rotten Sporticus. from <laughs> Lazy Town. Yeah. I think it might be this movie and it's Sporticus, but mm. I don't remember. I'll know if I see him, though. As a, like you Vin know. Diesel or the. No, it's, Vin Diesel's not Sporticus. It's a. Uh... Oh, like actual Sporticus. Yeah, like actual the guy who portrays Sporticus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't mean like he's actually jumping around in his like skin tight blue <laughs> superhero outfit. I mean the guy who plays as him. <laughs> I thought like, you meant Hello, like... Vin Diesel, I'm Sporticus. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out, man. Today we're going to work out. <laughs> Look I at hope my mustache. You're keeping Lazy Town safe. My kids love that show. <laughs> 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 Vin Diesel is like almost up there with like uh, Bruce Willis and stuff. Like he was almost one of those cool mm. guys, but not quite. He, yeah, he, I mean, I think in some ways he's he's like typecast in the minds of people. But as far as like actual work, I think he kind of evaded getting typecast as like the 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 muscleman. Yeah. But when I look Which, at Vin Diesel, he looks like a football player that was like, you know what? I'm going to be an actor now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of like the guy who's Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. I know he's not a football player, but. <laughs> he's like not an actor, but he's gotten better. You see his progress over the movies. He does get better. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Dang. 
J- Jonathan Shankman or whatever his name is got me. <laughs> Did he pull a knife out of his arm? It's on my airplane. Is this the first movie Vin Diesel's ever been in? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there were some Fast and Furious movies before this. I just feel like his acting is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess you hire Vin Diesel for the name, at least at this point in his career. Yeah, a big he buff. He does a good job as Groot. He does a good job as Iron Giant. Mm. I mean, Iron Giant. When, yeah, kids I, movie? I, I, yeah. Huh. Iron Giant, it's the cartoon about uh, the kid who finds like an old communist robot or something like that and yeah. the military wants to destroy him and like find him and destroy him and he's like but he's my friend he's nice now mm. <laughs> yeah you're right never mind all good that's a stupid Whoa. password it's uh as i'm sure they felt clever coming up with that but all you have to do is just say it out loud and everyone around you knows the password yeah and is it like his voice specifically, or is it just the order of the words? Because then that's just yeah, extra ex- exactly. Like, oh no, a- he's a- dead. Man, quit napping. Why do we get an insomniac <laughs> to drive the helicopter? <laughs> Ow! What even happened? Did they like pull his legs out from under him? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck's going on? Whoop whoop! <laughs> and then he passed out. I guess. <laughs> I know my head was rolling on the floor of that helicopter when I fell because they pulled my legs out from under me. <laughs> and that epic prank that that now that guy's dead. <laughs> they put a banana peel on the helicopter <laughs> floor when I wasn't looking. <laughs> that wasn't very cool. <laughs> that was uncool. The password wasn't for the briefcase. It was to like open a hatch on the helicopter that drops a banana. <laughs> it was to make the helicopter <laughs> pilot fall asleep because he's like yeah, programmed they, like he's a Russian the winter warriors. soldier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but instead of going into a, a Nazi craze or whatever, he just like falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he falls asleep gently. <laughs> so At least it's gentle. Who is that guy? He looks familiar. That's uh Sporticus. It's the guy from Yeah, that's that's Sporticus. <laughs> <laughs> Where's his mustache? <laughs> Dude, I wish I could have gotten cast as the man who is blurry in the hallway in a wheelchair in a hospital gown. <laughs> Such a prestigious role, really. I mean, I'm sure that guy got enough money to buy a Nintendo Switch after this. <laughs> you know, like multiple years before it existed. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he if he was responsible and uh sat on that money put in a bank account or something Mm -hmm. then he probably got enough money to buy two switches by now Mm. i don't mean to alarm you but this movie is almost 20 years old (laughs) dang i i suppose i did watch it as a kid yeah it came Um, out in 2005 which is horrifyingly almost 20 years ago (laughs) That's really weird. That makes me that's, feel gross. Like, that makes sense, because that's, like, when I watched it. Yeah. But... I'm bald! <laughs> Mr. Clean! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'm bald. She looked so angry. She was like, oh! <laughs> you must be Lieutenant Wolf! <laughs> 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 You're bald! <laughs> <laughs> You're bald! <laughs> thought at least he'd be attractive dang it <laughs> could you at least not have a big nose though vin diesel looks like he's like 18 <laughs> his face Mom is so said baby it's my turn on the xbox oh the Hello. nanny i forgot about her <laughs> <laughs> i'm dying but also holding baby wow that baby just projectile puked on her. That and was... most of it dissipated very quickly. It's very, it's highly evaporative, I think. She goes, baby vomit! Someone's gonna pay! <laughs> Throws the baby. <laughs> That's an epic uh, callback, viewer. Mm. If you know, you know. 
And by if you know, you know, I mean if you watch Spy Kids 2 episode, then you know. Yeah. I thought that I child on the that counter one. was a monkey. <laughs> That's not even on the counter. I thought there was a child like on the stove. I was about to like, say there's a child with toys. on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a movie where it's like, oh, wacky antics. Oh, He's done military duck. stuff before. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a cute animal to put on the box. I totally And forgot. I guess theirs was duck. He bit me. Charlie bit me. <laughs> we have a pet duck. What? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a pretty cool animal to have. No. If you gotta have something quirky. <laughs> yeah, I guess quirky for the 2000s. Uh oh. Oh, here's the Speaking 2000s. Speaking of 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the devil and Smash, Smash Mouth shall appear. <laughs> <laughs> we need the t- 2000s montage with Smash Mouth. <laughs> you want it? You got it. Is that a flask? Oh, it's a stapler. A flask. He's like, oh man, setting up this rope is tiring work. As a, a kid, relief. that magnet not being perfectly on there bothered me, and it still bothers me now. I was about to say, as an adult, you're okay with it? Yeah, I grow out of it. Personally, I would be fine with a magnet that's not even. <laughs> Stop eating your fingers. I'd like to say the older sister is the mean girl from Hairspray. Oh, I've only seen Hairspray once, but... I suppose I see it. I watch Hairspray every time I'm on a plane and the plane has Hairspray. It's my comfort movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that hairspray, movie so much. Hairspray is your Paul Blart. Yeah. <laughs> your comfort <laughs> guilty pleasure. Except I, I would argue that Hairspray's a little bit better than Paul uh, Blart. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll have to... Ooh, we should... Mm, I got an idea. We'll have to talk about it after the stream, the the whatever this is. Anyway, the, whatever, um, the stream. <laughs> Welcome to yeah, the stream. stream. What ha- what is this, <laughs> man? <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Drive me away. <laughs> you got it. Robert Downey Jr. is probably doing drugs when this movie came. Out. Was yeah, he he's acting currently yet? Sniffing the sniffing the surface of a kitchen counter very <laughs> intently. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what were we even saying? We're just talking. That's the point of this podcast. I thought you brought something up. Oh, yeah. You said you're going to tell me something afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll need to try and remember, though. Mm. Um, I guess I could just say it now. Um, sure. Paul Blart versus Hairspray episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Viewer, let us down be- let us let us down below. <laughs> let us know down below what you think of Paul Bart versus Hairspray. Mm-hmm. See, it's not so weird right to have now. a child on the counter, considering that child's in his undies in a fish tank throwing Reese's puffs. What you don't do that? Oh, sorry, normally. Cheerios. I mean, I do, but it's weird for a child to do it unsupervised. Hang on, I'm calculating currently calculating how old Vin Diesel was. In this movie. And he is 38. (laughs) That man looks no older than 18. Like, yeah, it like whenever you said the thing about him looking like a high schooler or whatever, I it it, it, like internally, I was like, he really does look like a like a junior in high school. Like his face looks very young. Unless I did the math wrong. I don't think I did because he's 54 now. (laughs) <laughs> I think a real Navy SEAL would just uh, pull out a gun. Yeah. That child man should be dead. Yeah. With a bullet, in case you didn't understand. And those those sirens. <laughs> I just put you on TikTok. What? <laughs> what was the? What was the point of that? He was just being nice. <laughs> hey, I get that you're like trying to like communicate with me, and you didn't. Gosh, idiot! Like it would have been worse <laughs> if he was like trying to speak English to them, but like in a really offensive manner. Like yeah. I'm sorry about the like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this movie needs to choose its battles. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
We speak English, buddy, even though you didn't have prior knowledge of that, you moron. Yeah, you have to pass the <laughs> fitness gram pacer yeah. test if you want to date my not daughter. I will let you inside to hang out with girl if you can do exercises. <laughs> if you can do <laughs> exercises. <laughs> you have successfully done 20 push-ups. You may hang out with girlfriend. Snaps ankle. Snaps, <laughs> Snaps <neck>. ankle. <laughs> This is assault. Like, he is just a stranger to them. <laughs> he was the last thing that their father saw before he died. So, uh, <laughs> naturally, he takes over the family. I remember this song. Mm. Not, like, verbatim. Yeah. I just remember it existing. Oh, yeah. This Whenever... song is actually quite important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like those crabs do. <laughs> what accent is she trying to do? I think she's trying to be Russian. Yeah, uh, earlier the subtitle says, s speaks in Czech. So. Oh, Czech, okay. Because her Good name's Helga. Czechoslovakia. Because <laughs> <laughs> usually when you have a Russian type character, their name is always Justin Helga. Bieber. Yeah, probably. Or Olga. Or Olga, yeah. <laughs> or Ula or something like that. Ula. Ula. <laughs> <laughs> Moana. That was, the, that was the name of the... Or that wasn't even Russian. In the producers, <laughs> they had a Swedish... I think she was Swedish. I don't know. Maybe I'm the problem now. Look at me. I am the problem now. <laughs> I am the issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I was the problem. It's actually you all along. Yeah. No wonder you're always worried about getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like why is my life so terrible and it's like <laughs> screaming at yourself you know it's you're like, a, because a very self-loathing a very self-loathing awful person mm -hmm. <laughs> i wish i wasn't the worst do not copy pasta that's very funny that's when you take the child and throw her to the ceiling. It's funny you say that because I was about to <laughs> <laughs> take the child and throw her. Because you can't say like smack the child. That's just too. That's too ridiculous. You got to throw it's them funnier to the ceiling. To, yeah, it's funnier to physically move someone. <laughs> yeah, in a way that someone wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, not just like kind of give them a shove. Just they're on the other side of the room now. Mm-hmm. Also, that lady was, like, feeding that baby brown gravy, it looked like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Eat I don't know what. Back in home country, we ate gravy. <laughs> and only gravy. And that was it. That was a specialty for us. Red baby, red lobster. Red, red lobster. Red, red, and ready. <laughs> red robin. <laughs> red baron pizza. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> that's the that's the boyfriend. He needs to be redeemed. <laughs> no, he's Grand Theft Auto. He doesn't belong here. <laughs> what did she say? He walks like Dracula. <laughs> you walk like Dracula. You walk like Vlad. Of the imp. Oh. Oh. My door. Is anyone really so military? I guess. What have you done? <laughs> I guess this is a thing because like my dad was in the military and he just was a drill sergeant all the time. Mm. I guess this is I mean, completely out of the realm of possibility. I mean, the the father figures in my life have exclusively been men who were in the military and mm. none of them ever kicked my door down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying kicking the door down, but just being very strict. I don't know, like tracking devices a bit much and f not even trying to know your child's name is also a bit much but mm -hmm. i don't care what your name is i have to go do exercises so i can talk to girl i don't mean to be rude but it looks like he's struggling with that one arm push -up. <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were a seal you look more like a walrus <laughs> i know he like doing that is tough but like wow <laughs> no no it's easy Oh, okay. I he do took those, like, my stupid blanket. Have you ever had one of those blankets that like looks like a fishing net? 
Yeah, and they usually are the blankets that are given to you during slumber parties. Yeah, because no one else wants them, understandably so. Yeah, and then they turn the AC on to like 50 degrees. <laughs> What's the point luck? of those blankets? <laughs> They're nets. They're just, it's like, it's like a fisherman on Des- Deadliest Catch, just like sleeping in a net because yeah. he's cold. Like, what good it, is it going to do? It's helpful if it's like um, hot summer and you want to wear a blanket but not suffocate to death. I guess. But you could also just like, I don't know, wear a small jacket or like a light jacket. I don't have time for you, Czechoslovakian. Dead. Wow. (laughs) And she died. Yeah. They've committed a murder. Never mind. She well, she's a zombie now. They still committed. A <laughs> yeah, she came back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm bald. How do you say I am no hair? How do you say I'm French without saying I'm French? You give them the most French accent. <laughs> <laughs> do all yeah. the French things. <laughs> how, how to say you're not French without saying it? You just go ha ha ha, and then throw a hack. <laughs> On words. Yeah. No, that's German. Uh. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> that's why they get actors to do it, because you know I'm not good enough. I mess I mess up my hech with my hook. <laughs> <laughs> my my hech with my <laughs> Ow, my shoulder. I heard that. I thought that was something like in my mouth. No, that <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought I, my jaw exploded. I thought my tongue clicked <laughs> when it was you snapping no. your shoulder off. Yeah, that was my right arm coming off. <laughs> Dead. I can. <laughs> this poor character is going to die eight times by the end of the movie. <laughs> can you imagine like a 400 pound man full of muscle just body <laughs> slamming the floor? It'd be so loud. <laughs> He breaks through and goes into the basement, and she's still crawling along like a zombie yelling. Yeah, and he spoils the end of the movie by smashing through the floor. And finding the... Bruh. (laughs) I don't know, the the dark secrets that lie beneath. I'm 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 trying to take this all in. This is a line. (laughs) Listen, all you gotta do is not slip on canola oil. <laughs> it looked thicker than canola oil. <laughs> all like you gotta grease. do is not slip on the movie Grease by the John movie Travolta. Grease. Movie <laughs> Grits. That's why we, why we named it that. Because it sounds like Grease and we love us some fast food. We love Grease here. Yeah. We're so quirky. We really like eating Burger King. Oh, I just realized something looking up who Helga is. When okay. he Googled her to see who she was, a picture of her popped up. And it's like an actual picture of her from like being an actress and stuff. Because mm-hmm. that's her IMDb picture. And I'll, I don't know why I thought they would use someone else's picture for her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You expected it to be her in like full pacifier exacerbated uh, babysitter makeup. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) Just like her biting Vin Diesel's neck. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Is the IMDb picture. (laughs) No, but the reason I looked her up on IMDb is because I had a suspicion, and it's true. She Mm -hmm. is Miracle Mike's wife in Princess Bride. Oh. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that in a while. Yes. Add it that's, to the uh, list. <laughs> that well, that's we can add that to the list with Emperor's New Groove and uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Mm. The list of movies we just watch for fun, not because they're bad. Yeah. On the podcast. I mean, Princess Bride is supposed to be bad. It's like top tier satire. Hmm. But it comes back around. It I remember does. enjoying it. It is good. Hello there. <laughs> I mean, half of the <laughs> things I say in my daily life are. Like references to not Princess Bride, but movies like that. Oh, okay. I thought you were about to say Star Wars because I said hello there. (laughs) (laughs) 
I was like, well, that's true for me. That too. Memes and... She just said boobs. Dead. <laughs> she sealed her fate. <laughs> She's dead, me. <laughs> She's dead, Someone too. take that clip of him turning around and looking at her like that and just like putting an an X over her face with the TikTok like or the vine boom sound. Yeah. <laughs> the inception. <laughs> no, but you look like you're six or seven, maybe. You no, know, but you're acting like it. Air horns. Ba, 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 ba. Interested. Now that is a fun <laughs> early two thousands quirk. <laughs> Small child is interested in a grown man. <laughs> Have you ever had an MRE before? Uh, no. It's interesting. I my... have some in my house, though, but I think the point is to not eat them unless you need to. <laughs> that makes that makes sense. Maybe my family should have done that. <laughs> I'll let you know in 25 years when they're about to expire and I have to eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've had plenty of them throughout my life because, like, I like my dad and my stepdad are both in the military, yeah. and I guess that automatically means you need to get a crap ton of MREs to bring to your family. <laughs> and it's uh, a present. yeah, instead of you know, like what you're doing, preserving them, um, yeah. we just be like, all right, who wants the meatloaf? Who wants the ravioli? <laughs> like, just you know just for fun we try out the mres because they're surprisingly good yeah it's not like amazing but for what it is the most beige bag with beige boxes inside you've ever seen mm -hmm. the food is pretty good yeah the pictures on the tubs of ours look pretty good not going to lie mhm mm it's like yeah. full meal Ugh, it, burger king sandwich Foot I almost lettuce. said Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you want in your MRE <laughs> is somebody's foot fungus. I'm going to die. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It also bothers me. MRT. That, that, sh that shot is not balanced, but whatever. <laughs> that one is. The, their license plate is Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah. I pity the fool can't get to school on time. Is that it was Mr. T. So much easier to do this than just buckle the kid up properly? Just get some flex tape. I know it didn't exist yet. And just like tie it around them. Yeah, just tie the baby <laughs> to the chair. <laughs> If you, like, hit a curb and the baby bounces up out of its seat, it'll get stuck to the flex tape like a fly in a spider web and won't move anywhere else. Or like a fly Dang. trap. Wow. I was about to say, how to make a minivan really cool and scene. drift it. Hey, oh, it's him. That guy? It's uh, Raymond's brother from Everybody Wants to Kill Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him and Vin Diesel have the same voice. <laughs> How did they pass that? <laughs> You're right, they do. Except Brad Garrett doesn't look like a 18-year-old. Do you think they're siblings? Mm, Brad Garrett and Vin Diesel? Yeah, they're siblings. I bet you they're the same age. Hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he just looks way worse. He's the voice of the blowfish from Finding Nemo. Yeah. I'm from Bob's Fish Mart. You better not shake my hand. Okay, he's seven years finger. older than him. So he was like 40-something in this. Dang. He's like 87 now. <laughs> he's like, oh, I used to play Blowfish and Finding Nemo. And I I'm could voice Vin Diesel. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They could only afford the likeness. They couldn't afford him. So they got Brad Garrett to do his voice in a cartoon. I was going to say like that um, Mike Tyson mystery show. And mm -hmm. then I got sad because Norm MacDonald is the voice of the pigeon on that show. And he's dead now. That's I'm minus good. eight. <gasps> that does not happen. <laughs> that does not happen. <laughs> I thought she was a mannequin for a second. <laughs> 
<laughs> just like, like a kind of creepy to have. <laughs> oh, that's a Gilmore Girl lady. Yeah, and she was in something else. Gilmore Girls. No. <laughs> I mean, she was, but she was. I, don't know. I know. I think they made like a new Mighty Ducks movie for Disney Plus, and she's the mom in it. No, she she she, she was in uh, Evan Almighty. Really? She's the wife I mean, of Steve Carell. Well, to be fair, when I watched that movie, I didn't know what Gilmore Girls was. Mm. So that's probably why I didn't pick up on it. Yeah. I don't now know I've why. seen <laughs> most of Gilmore Girls, and I honestly wish I hadn't, because it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It, I have the, not seen any of it. You're not missing out. Um, I, I like the grandparents because they're like, obnoxiously snobbish rich people and it mm -hmm. reminds me of arrested development kind of mm -hmm. but as far as like her and her daughter's dialogue it's mostly just delivered quickly but it's not actually that funny they just talk but fast people, yeah basically hmm. they'd be they'd be kind of sarcastic at each other very quickly and you know it's like as someone who talks really slowly i guess that's impressive but since they're reading a script it's not impressive yeah and then as far as the comedy goes, it, it's like I would rather watch Arrested Development. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> watching Gilmore Girls just made me want to watch Arrested Development. That's my verdict. <laughs> I agree. Even though I have yeah. not seen Gilmore Girls. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's okay. Uh, it's fine. It's not awful. It's just not my cup of tea. Hello there. Why is she actually happy to see him? I thought she hated him. <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, even though the scene established that she doesn't like him anymore, I, it also established that she does like him. Yeah. Yo, what's up? All the football people want to beat up Hot Topic guy. Hot Topic guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so true. This, all I said was Kingdom Hearts is the best game I've ever played. Gosh, idiots. <laughs> Call them Popeye. <laughs> all right, Popeye, you better not eat a can of spinach. <laughs> and punch me. Yeah, better not punch me into the air. <laughs> Give me my voice back. <laughs> he also Brad just Garrett said Bethesda. This movie is a... <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You said you ever play Fallout, big guy? <laughs> That was pretty good. Weirdly enough, why did he say sensei? <laughs> and then he broke his own neck. <laughs> sensei. <laughs> Master. That's <laughs> basically what just happened. <laughs> I am the sensei. And you, now you can't show me up and prove me wrong because I'm dead. <laughs> you can't break my neck if I break my neck for me. Yeah. The only one I'll allow myself to... Or, the only person I'll allow to defeat me is myself. <laughs> He 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 bald. These are the graphics of 2005, and to believe that Oblivion came out a year after this, ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe they did. Don't even have a uh, tiger people walking around in this tiger movie. Tiger people. Don't, why don't what? Why don't they zoom in on the face when they talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom 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 boom. You're not supposed to be on school property. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what are they called? Khajiit? Yeah, Khajiit. Okay. I was blanking on the name, so I just went with tiger people. <laughs> tiger people. That's close <laughs> enough. Uh-oh. There's a red dot on my six. radar. <laughs> on my walkie-talkie. <laughs> a red dot on my six. <laughs> that just means he's got, like, a pimple on his waist. <laughs> on his waist. <laughs> World's greatest mother. He, he, he. He, he, he. Dang. He's got the Dragon Ball radar from other movie we watched. See, this is a movie that completely wouldn't exist if cell phones were as prolific as they are now. Yeah. It's like he would just call them. He wouldn't have to do mm. this. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to think there was a point in time when you couldn't just like ring someone up. I know. Just anywhere. Like, when I was where'd a kid. Where'd you come but... from? Where'd you go? <laughs> She come from Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> starts doing a jig. <laughs> starts singing it. It's a musical. 
Wow. Okay. It's okay. We do this in the military all the time. Destroy construction workers. Plus, how did he know that car wouldn't just like explode on impact? What if that was a solid wall? <clears throat> a solid wallet. <laughs> a solid wallet. Waluigi. Dude. What? Salu Waluigi. <laughs> it's Friday, by the way. In case anyone listening is wondering what's wrong with me. My it brain cells Friday, are not existent. Dudes. Dang. He There's a lot of root poopy. beer in here. Root beer. I mean, root poopy. Pikachu. Pikachu. Should have gotten a better Pokemon. I'm surprised Nintendo didn't sue them. They probably paid them. Mm. <laughs> but it is, it's not showing the Pikachu face. Yeah. Um, oh, there it is. Never why mind. is the vice principal at there? Because How? he left. Oh, okay. And was like, good luck. He said, you made me go into camel poop. Somebody's going to pay. <laughs> and I'm not going to shower for the rest of the movie. <laughs> camel poop. <laughs> <laughs> the way she says it is like ingrained <laughs> in my brain. Somebody's going to pay. <laughs> and then she turned into Hannah Montana's best friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's going to pay Miley Cyrus? It was a long con. Mm -hmm. She made her go go nuts. Anyway, yeah. uh could you, we end the scene? I hate looking at him. I'm just imagining it's dirt. I've already got I've already started like gagging from the thought. Okay, thank you. Oh, here's our obligatory shirtless scene. <laughs> But it's also kind of funny the way that he was like aggressively scrubbing himself, rubbing his face or well, his head <laughs> it, with what looked like a Swiffer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just grabbed the first thing. He grabbed a phone and started putting soap on it. <laughs> Why does <laughs> his chest does bounce? It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> He's got VTuber physics. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, it's he distracting. He paid a thousand dollars for someone to rig his model. <laughs> he says all these little girls are going to do Ara Ara redeems. My question Get is, who is here. this for? The moms watching this movie with their kids, but they have I a guess. bunch of kids around a table giggling. I don't like that. He <laughs> he he have no shirt. <laughs> Hello, no, they shirtless. like they think he's cute, and that makes me uncomfortable. They're like eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's uncomfortable too. So yeah, you know, that's he's a normal person. <laughs> he's the only normal person in this movie. <laughs> Rule number one of being a Girl Scout: don't don't do that. <laughs> yeah, stop looking at me. Yeah, don't look at me. Don't make eye contact with me. This is actually good timing because Girl Scouts are prowling the country them. as we speak <laughs> with their cookies. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, did yeah. have some of those cookies. What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? So originally it was Thin Mints, but mm -hmm. I do like uh, Samosas. What are they called? Samoas? The ones with the, not the onion, Samoans. the coconut on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they're, oh, Costco. Heck oh, yeah. I was there a couple days Represent. ago. Represent. I haven't, I don't think I've ever been to a Costco, but I still like the concept of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of Costco. I, no, I, I think I have gone to Costco once. It was pretty cool. Uh, I, my favorite cookie used to be the peanut butter chocolate ones. And mm. then I tried Thin Mints Frozen. Yes. And I converted to Frozen Thin Mints. Yeah, those are Why really are they good. walking like that? Because they're about to kill By your flies, <laughs> you would not believe your eyes. <laughs> oh, what kind Dude. are those? Those look like, why don't the Girl Scouts have those? Yeah, <laughs> just soft baked chocolate cookies. With white chocolate chips, that's good. Why would you, if you're going to steal cookies from the, from the fireflies, at least eat them, you idiot. And he said skanky cookies? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> What these, are these cookies, cookies are promiscuous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought look, he was going to say stanky. Like stinky. These are some stanky cookies. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they are skanks, apparently. 
this cookie's got a leg because it's stanky. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> kind of reference? <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. The way whenever he came out, he uh he said like, "Where are my scouts?" And it reminded me of Nacho Libre when he goes, "Hey, look on my blouse." <laughs> <laughs> the same uh vibe. Yeah. <laughs> what what if th- oh. like everything about this FNAF? Anyway, what about what if everything about this was the same except he talked the way Ignacio does in Nacho Libre? <laughs> it would be a different vibe, that's for sure. What is that woman <laughs> doing to her child? <laughs> <laughs> torturing him yeah trying to make him taller da, 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 da. i forgot That's the baby no good. <laughs> stupid i feel like a navy seal wouldn't forget baby though no he didn't forget the baby he forgot the older baby oh the older baby. okay yeah why does um you know, if this is like a place for kids, why do they have a Mortal Kombat cabinet? That's oh, not a with your butt. game for children. <clears throat> not cool. I can't believe your child lost its pants in our ball pit. And also, why do we have a full frame of child butt? That's unnecessary. <laughs> it's tee hee hee, no pants. He pooped his pants. <laughs> 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 See what I tell you. Ew. Mm. That scene makes me feel nauseous. It's weird because... So does this one. <laughs> I'm reading the Five Nights at Freddy's books and the first one takes oh. place in a ball pit. <laughs> yeah, in the into the pit. I've heard some weird stuff about that book. Yeah, I'm on the second story right now. It's interesting. It's not anything lore related, but mm. they're fun little stories. I mean... I've been listening to some game theory videos at work. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there's a lot of Thor, Thor, Thor. Lore in those books. There's a lot of Thor. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't even know he was a FNAF character. <laughs> um. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, not surprised. Yeah, Purple the reason, guy, Thanos. <laughs> the, the reason, exactly. The reason they all come to life is because of his magic lightning power. Yeah. <laughs> They're still functioning. I'm just delivering a pizza. <laughs> I just delivering a baloney. Who does that? You know it'd be so cool is if we put some mustard on baloney and threw it at the ceiling. <laughs> it would be funny if he like licked it instead. That would be very <laughs> You mean like he licks his fingers or he just gets down there and licks the table while he's doing the toothbrush? Uh, <laughs> either one. <laughs> <laughs> What he should have done is whenever he does his two fingers on the table, he just like does the three stooges boop <laughs> into his eyes. <laughs> yeah, he just stabs him in the eyes. <laughs> Stab- yeah, stabs him. Hmm. I'm going to go watch Ghost. It's I'm a going mixed ghost. tape. <laughs> I'm going to go watch Danny Phantom while y'all clean. Yeah. <laughs> they only have one bathroom in this house? <laughs> Yeah, this is a big house. There should be more than one bathroom. They are baloney throwers. We are not friends with their kind. Ooh, or baloney. Or lunch meat. You know, you remind me of those cookies the kids threw earlier. I'm not going to tell you why, though. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word specifically. I don't wanna... <laughs> <laughs> it's a word I only use for cookies, okay? <laughs> Yeah, with a human, that's a bit too far. But with a cookie, uh, heck yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, good luck. I'll I'll let the baby take care of itself, you idiot. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Oh, now what? Oh, it's ninjas. (laughs) (laughs) Like legit, (laughs) they're ninjas. (laughs) Whoa, okay. They got some skills. Dang. See, Imagine if this just like happened in your house one yeah. day. You're just like in the hall walking to go get a get some cheese puffs and yeah. then ninjas break in and start like hitting you with nunchucks. 
Do I have Vin Diesel or not? No. <laughs> okay, then I just act like it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, as they're hitting you, you just put your hands up and go, "This isn't happening." <laughs> well, I'm assuming they're just trying to steal something and will leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, it's like, guys, I'll help you steal whatever you're here for. Just exactly. <laughs> stop hitting me. <laughs> also, is Vin Diesel's name Shane in this? Shane Diesel. Hey everybody, welcome back to my next controversial <laughs> video. <laughs> I will laugh but not contribute anything because I never watched any of his videos. <laughs> That's fair. That's pretty cool. I liked that. That was a good move. Yeah, there's some good choreography here. Pretty <laughs> unique. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> He's got his katana. Is katana. It's not a katana. <laughs> Ow. Bruh. Dang it, now I can't play badminton. Wee! <laughs> and he goes into a portal. <laughs> yeah, he did. makes the Mario 64 bring <laughs> when you go into a painting. <laughs> <laughs> what? He did? It, what? <laughs> I, f I forgot. I accidentally threw him in the magic tent. <laughs> That's theft. And also, their grass is definitely fake. <laughs> what if that was foreshadowing? Like, you know, you see the duck on the counter and you're like, oh, my gosh, they have a pet duck. And it turns out they actually have a magic tent that turns people into ducks. And that's <laughs> I was going to say the duck, duck the is the like insider that gives them all the info. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they zoom in on the uh, the eye of the duck and it's got like a, a microphone and like a recording device. And it's glowing red. Yeah. And you're like, whoa. That'd be pretty good. Uh, back when laptops had disk drives. Good old days. <laughs> yeah. How am I supposed to play Pac-Man now? Is that Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg? Yeah, have you never seen Ghost? <laughs> I, <well, laughs> I thought this was just some recording he had. and Whoopi Goldberg is just a no. random actor that you... <laughs> I, gu I guess that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Ghost is. <laughs> so, like, I, I knew from the get-go, like, this is just going to be a, a the movie Ghost. Yeah. And for some reason, I guess it has been downloaded illegally, and that's why it's not like the DVD cover. Mm. But, yeah, I, I can't imagine. You're just like, what the heck is <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg doing on this scene? <laughs> I guess I am just too not young for that joke. Yeah, because I'm so much older than you are. Um, yeah, don't I've tell anyone. I've got chocolate pudding on my favorite shirt. What is that? Is that the parking brake? How did she rip the whole thing out? She killed a robot on her way into the office. <laughs> yeah, and that's its heart. <laughs> <laughs> Take that hat off, or I'm gonna... Oh, my. Oh, no, he's a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't even remember that. It was a oh, good joke, no. and it's like, I forgot, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, no. People don't dye their hair without being a Nazi. <laughs> I completely agree. Don't at me. Early 2000s, if you dye I don't your care hair what, blonde. I don't care what hair color it is you dyed it, it makes you a Nazi. <laughs> I think that actor has, not blue hair, blonde hair naturally, so I don't know... <laughs> <laughs> it's blue what? hair, it's ninja. <laughs> it's, yeah, because ninja has naturally blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like ninja as a kid. In the sense that he is skinny white boy. With this guy hair. is... My father wanted me to be a Nazi. Yeah, I was about to say, what? <laughs> he kept telling me about, <laughs> you know, this book called My Camp or something like that. <laughs> My <laughs> no, <laughs> that is no good. <laughs> Do Green Day. Green Day. <laughs> Wake me up before you go go. Before you go go. To leave me hanging on like a yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> Red leader. Red sauce. Red sauce? <laughs> Would you like the green or red sauce? Dude, I go with green sauce. Yeah. What's in the green sauce? 
lost in the sauce. It What's turns in out, the green sauce? <laughs> oh, I remember why he's a Nazi now. Yeah, there's a reason. I remember, like, I saw the swastika and immediately remembered. I but didn't it's still immediately remember. A funny visual. <laughs> it just, you know, if you, for the time being, things just kind of go from zero to a hundred, and honestly, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, because I immediately <laughs> thought of the sound of music, and conveniently enough, <laughs> um, that's kind of what's going on hey, here. Hey, what's up? Spoilers for thirty seconds from now. Yeah, they all go into their fourth reich bunker <laughs> and i don't know just like eat sandwiches <laughs> my nazis are finally here. where are the singing people <laughs> wouldn't the school know i guess this isn't a school play yeah this is like an underground dark alley event apparently yeah and his singing could be a little stronger why is he singing to yeah. this 30-year-old woman? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the uh, normal sound of music. But gosh. Wow. Listen, we've practiced this stunt so many times. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he can't get on because his pants are too tight or something. <laughs> Did you... Uh... I don't know if we got to the Arrested Development episode where Tobias does is the play director. Yes. I, wish. <laughs> I think I watched it on my own and he was trying to like get uh, what's his face <laughs> and that popular dude together, right? Oh, yeah. George Michael and Steve Holt. Yeah. <laughs> I, whenever he was trying to get on the stage, I was thinking of how he rolls into a ball and just slowly topples over and yeah. then pops back up. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> so weird <laughs> Tobias is such a classic character <laughs> so is that guy so because is that of guy. that exact thing this guy is a hot mess he <laughs> quits he's a cold mitt did I say a cold mitt I'm in a cold <laughs> mess <laughs> that's what I was trying to say hmm I'm going to kill you if you isn't there an me. understudy just get the other guy I'm going to say undertale yeah, get Undertale. Get Sans. Isn't there an Undertale? <laughs> huh? Oh, is that the director? Isn't there an Undertale for this guy? <laughs> he cussed. I can't watch this anymore. Anyway. Spoilers for uh, Undertale. <laughs> please explain to me what this is, because the alternative is me confirming that you're a Nazi. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> And I really don't want to do that. <laughs> Motivational moment. I'm just yeah. kind of like, not gasping, but really realizing <gasps> how much they're saying spaz. And that's such a 2000 <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> I mean, I still say it, so I can't get mad at this movie. Or I know, but stupid. like, how many movies regularly say spaz nowadays? <laughs> well, you're right. None of them. <laughs> More than mm. anything, I would like to be 16 going on 17. <laughs> Wait, you're not? <laughs> <laughs> I am almost 40 years old. I was once, and I miss those days. <laughs> those were my golden years. <laughs> well, apparently he's going to be 18 forever, because the way he looks now, he still <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> I have, Look at me. I am the director now. <laughs> I'm the director now. What are you going to do? Fight me? Yeah. <laughs> if dude, the the cast of this movie is all over the place. I know. You got 16 going on 17 year old standing next to an old woman. Yeah. And he looks like he's 13, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> I will I allow it. Look at him. He's so baby. He's got like the baby <laughs> fat on his cheeks. He's got to be like 14. He's so baby. <laughs> Adele. Adele. <laughs> she didn't even <laughs> exist yet. Dude, I heard such a good Norm MacDonald joke about Adele. <laughs> okay. Um, he was telling a joke uh, about um, 
you know, he was like, so the other day I went to an Adele concert and his guest was like, uh, and, and there were only room for three people. And, and he was like, I would never say anything like that. That's an awful fat joke. And he's like, okay, well, okay, what, what are you going to say then? And he's like, I was just going to say it was disappointing. She sang one song and it was over. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, it didn't click with me at first either. But uh, I looked through the YouTube comments and people were like, He's saying it ain't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is like high intellect <laughs> joke. I just thought it was disappointing. She sang one song and it ended. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, rip in peace, Norm. Rip in peace, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Adele. <laughs> I guess Adele's dead too. Yeah, her career. Ended her career's with that. dead thanks to Norm. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> no one's ever made an Adele fat joke before. Nope. <laughs> oh god. Damn the floor. <laughs> bomb. <laughs> bomb. Bomb. <laughs> Stupid man. You don't even know Peter Panda dance. Game Boy Advance SP. I'm curious what he put in those bags. Nothing. It's a just a dove. banana. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't even need a bag for a banana. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I was in a helicopter once where the banana fell because you spoke. You don't need a bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dad died because of a banana, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that girl's playing on the Game Boy Advance. Anytime I see someone play a Game Boy, I'm thinking that. Dead. Dead, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand this, like, trope of, like, teenager doesn't know how to drive a car. It's like, it's really not that hard <laughs> to drive a car. It it does take getting used to, it so does. in a way it's pretty relatable. But, like, at the same time, like, I get being scared, but I don't understand, like, the I am going to drive and turn the wheel all crazy ways because I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. It's like, that. no one does that. Like, have you never gone to an arcade and just played one of the games that has a, that, that's shaped like a car? Yeah. If you've done that, you kind of probably have an idea of how a wheel works. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I get you, <laughs> learning to brake you, without just slamming on the brakes is tough. That's realistic. But yeah. just, like, swerving all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that, like, I had to alternate left and right over and over, and that's how I kept it steady. Yeah, that's how you gain <laughs> speed, like a, like a, yeah. what is it, a ripstick. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I never had one, but I think my little brother did. <laughs> You um, said Beyblade. That's not it. A Beyblade? I thought, uh, isn't there like a ripstick in here somewhere? And that's what makes us go fast? Can't you ride your Beyblade? It's big enough. <laughs> Do a tippy toe on it. And if maybe if you weigh like one pound. Yeah. Oof. You quit what school? Is it that easy? I would have done that. Quit. Like wow, his you neck moves at the same time. <laughs> quick! I said quick. Quick! <laughs> so do so it. So let us let us pursue our dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they stop talking and part ways. <laughs> Is this High School Musical? No. Ooh, got him! They don't talk about origami in High School Musical. They talk about creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. <laughs> what is this man? What is wrong with this guy? Yeah, why is he such a turd? I know he's like I don't under I don't even understand what the problem is. Oh, well, he's quitting the <laughs> wrestling team. Oh, okay. No and he's idea. like, "You're quitting wrestling to do a musical. This is what happens when you don't have a father." Like, whoa! <laughs> You're talking to a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have let your dad not die. Sheesh. Yeah, it's like, why do you care so much? <laughs> you get the horns. <laughs> You get the nasty monster sounds. Yeah, you get gross. <laughs> you get all snarly. 
This is definitely this gnarly. is the definition of a man who never left high school. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Sign my petition. Like the Dude, way he he's held getting that his up. butt kicked. Oh. In high school, no Ew. one did stuff like this. Especially not teachers with a parent. Yeah. <laughs> I I think in high school, someone insulted me a single time. And it I had no clue who he was. So it didn't even like irritate me. Yeah. I was just kind of thrown off because I was like, wow, that's an unpleasant turd. I don't think anyone ever... Okay, well, there's Bible first sign for some reason. Yeah, that um, was random. <laughs> for God so loved the world! Is yeah, this wrestling! a Christian movie? Hang on. Conspiracy. <laughs> Whoa! Hide from murder. <laughs> like, I don't mean? doubt that... Well, I, I got a shank right here. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, teachers and kids are, like, bullies in school. But the way movies portray them sometimes is, like, this is a, so ridiculous. Like, yeah. this does not happen. Like, throwing baloney on the ceiling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I, like, you know, every, one, every once in a while, like, during pep rallies, the teachers would get involved. But it'd be, like, something at their expense, you know? Yeah. And they're just, like, having fun. This is, like, I am... The principal is going to beat up a child. Yeah. Credits roll. Like, I remember my principal getting pied in the face by the teachers, and that was always funny. Yeah. Um, but they never wrestled each other. <laughs> I mean, that would have been entertaining if it was, like, teacher versus teacher res wrestling match, but they're also old. <laughs> I don't like the way he stuck his tongue out like that. Why does this whole movie revolve around his pecs? Can we <laughs> discuss that? <laughs> that's that's why I was hired. It's not because he's a good actor. It's because he's got pecs. He's got ripping, Hello. ripping pecs? That's not what you call them. Ripping pecs. <laughs> and that shirtless scene, his skin was like coming off. <laughs> his pecs he was massive. <laughs> yeah, in high school, like, there weren't bullies, really. There were, like, people you that were unpleasant, but there weren't bullies, and they weren't the teachers. Yeah. Like, they're... I mean, at least in my experience, I, I was, like, a nobody who flew under the radar, so if anyone was going to get bullied, it was going to be me. Yeah. But <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to say because school bullies in movies when we were growing up were always, like, physical bullies, but yeah, we never, so. like, associated that as being real because we were in the digital age and people were getting bullied online. Mm. Um, and we're like, he people don't get ankle. beat up in school. That's so stupid. Yeah. Like, you know, you go to high school and you expect because of Disney Channel. Yeah. There's, like, there's going to be a bunch of people in baggy clothes going like, give me your lunch money, loser. Yeah, like Snot the jocks. no spaz. But, uh, yeah, exactly. Like, the jocks were irritating when I was in school, but, like, they were just kind of full of themselves. They didn't actually, like, if they beat someone up, it was because of, like, in their little sphere, there was an un there was someone that they deemed unpleasant and wanted to punch. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't exactly. just, like, it, it wasn't just, like, this person is weaker than me, I'm going to hurt them. Yeah, like, the nerd kid, I'm gonna punch the nerd kid. I mean, I'm sure it happens in real life, but I feel like movies made it... Seemed yeah. like it was definitely going to happen, so watch out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it does happen. It's not like, because typically that's how it is, therefore there are no outliers. Yeah. But generally speaking, I don't know, jocks, they just kind of, if anything, get full of themselves because, especially in the South, they're yeah. like the celebrities of, yep. <laughs> of, the, of, of the local town. Yeah, because people are equally as wild about high school football as they are like Super Bowl football. Yeah, I went to a school that was definitely like very football oriented mm -hmm. for high school, but also we had the IB program, which is like mm. international. Bell. Yeah, <laughs> irritable bowel. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it caused. 
But no, it was like bowel program. You have AP classes, and then IB was like above that, like above and beyond. So Mm -hmm. there was just not like bullying, but the IB kids thought they were so much cooler than everyone else, and like, oh, the kids in regulars classes are stupid. So there was like that kind of dynamic. Yeah, that I always thought was so stupid. Yeah, I mean, even you know, for me, the the people who irritated me the most i wouldn't call the bullies but the ones who tended to irritate me were the jocks just because they were the most bombastic but there were other people who were irritating um (laughs) it's just just like you said like people who care too much about their grades and stuff you know it's like they're already doing well but now they have like labels attached to them that give them a superiority complex exactly Um, and in my school the the jocks were like nobodies because the ib kids were like the most important thing about the school and most of the Mm -hmm. the football players were not in ib so they're like oh just stupid football players so it was like a really different dynamic (laughs) that's weird yeah because like like we had ap classes and i mean i was in them so i got to witness the the smart kids uh, as much as the jocks and um I don't know, like, the AP kids were probably, like, the most normal kids to me. Yeah. Like, they were nerds. It was just kind of like hanging out with, with the people I hang out with now. Like, they, you know, by normal high school circumstances, maybe not the cool kids, but, like, cool people to hang out with. Yeah. I was in IB, AP, and regular classes, so I saw, like, IB people, the being like, oh, I'm so cool. And then the regulars kids were just like the most down to earth, nice people. But like the mm-hmm. IB kids thought they were all like idiots and didn't care about school. And I was like, that's so stupid. <laughs> it's like, how can you think that way? Mm-hmm. And then yeah, I, I mean... had a teacher that thought that way too. And he was <laughs> like, oh, the regulars kids, they don't care. They don't try. I was like, no. you're a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not good for a teacher to be like that. And I mean, obviously, it's not good for a student to be like that, but at least they're like dumb kids. So, yeah. you know, hope- hopefully, Lord willing, they'll learn yeah, uh, kid eventually with the... that they they aren't actually better than everyone else because they know some like know some math. But uh, yeah, and I saw because like I was friends with some of those people or like knew some of those people, not mm-hmm. like friends, because if they were really bad. Then I wasn't friends with them, obviously. But when they got to college, they were like, wow, okay, maybe I'm not so special because college is really hard. (laughs) (laughs) And I have no idea what I'm doing. So I was like, thank you for finally getting humbled a little bit. (laughs) It was just, uh, yeah, high school, it's weird. In conclusion, high school be weird. (laughs) It do be. I will say, I was kind at, at first, I was kind of on the opposite end of things. I went from like, remedial classes to ap classes because of the homeschooling thing and like when i went back to home or uh, to public school i had two credits Mm -hmm. and so they're like you're supposed to be a junior but instead we're going to make you a freshman because you don't have (laughs) enough credits and uh so i was like a blank slate to them they didn't know how good or bad i was at anything and the english class i was in Everyone was a turd to the teacher who was very naive and old yeah and people would just cheat off of each other and stuff Whenever I ended up taking online classes at that, uh, like, prison school I probably yeah. told you about. But <laughs> yeah. A lot of the kids I was in that English class with were there. Yeah. Because they, you know, th- those were the kids that, like, the holier-than-thou IB people probably thought of. Yeah. But not everyone was like that. It, it, they were outliers who, you know. Lord willing, maybe they got their lives together a little bit. But yeah, maybe they stopped being such a dumb kid. Yeah. I mean, I remember overhearing some of the conversations at that school I was at. Um, you know, they'd be like, all you have to do is just like a project. And it can be anything you want. And we are giving you extra time because you are already late. Yeah. Please just do something. And he just wouldn't do anything. It wasn't even that he was stupid. He was just lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Like, all you have to do is be like, well, I like to play Smash Brothers, so I decide my project will be playing Smash Brothers competitively. That's all you have to do. (laughs) And then just, like, write a report about what you learned or something. 
Yeah. It's like, it was tough too because I'm blaming the system because IB and AP classes are ranked on a different GPA scale. So it was mm. impossible for someone who wasn't in AP or IB classes to be in like the top 100 because mm. our uh, GPAs were ranked on like a six point scale instead of a four point scale. So ours were naturally higher. So it just I made see. the power imbalance even worse with mm. just kids. It's awful. <laughs> I guess so. I I suppose like at the same time, I, I mean, like I said, I started from nothing yeah. and worked my way up to like National Honor Society. Yeah. So it's doable. It's doable. You just, but yeah, it makes it really but, hard. Yeah. If you, if you get off on the wrong foot, like I didn't even uh, start off on the right, on the right or wrong foot. I just was a blank slate. But if you like start off on the wrong foot, then you're probably not going to get to that point because it's like those first few teachers who are like eyeballing the the students who are like good at the subject or not. You know? Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, back Anywho. to this movie, apparently things are like coming together, <laughs> but now they are, now they're yelling at each other about how like good everything's going. And I duck think is their there. mom's coming home. Oh, okay. I like how you can tell the low parts of the movie is when we go on extreme tangents. <laughs> <laughs> well, we there was just a montage of like things are kind of coming together for them. Yeah, they're all learning how to fight apparently. And now the duck has decided to wedge itself under the car. Howard the duck is stuck in the grate. Dude, Howard, this is why you don't have your own solo MCU movie. You get stuck <laughs> the only in the reason. grate. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason. Honestly, I wish they would do a Howard the Duck movie. That'd be really funny. It would be interesting. It would have to be like Deadpool style ridiculousness. <laughs> I mean, it would. I mean, that's that's Howard's whole thing. Yeah, is like they didn't unironically make this Donald Duck character in the Marvel <laughs> universe. Yeah, I he, guess that's fair. He's supposed to be satirical. I mean, it's not uh, completely <laughs> ridiculous because they have Rocket and he's just a raccoon. So yeah. But, like, I don't know. I think Howard is, like, he's less of a superhero, and he's supposed to be really mundane. You know, it's like, it's kind of like Ubu. I don't mean to toot my own horn, <laughs> you know, comparing myself to Howard the Duck. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the whole, like, the thing that makes him weird isn't that he's a duck, it's that he's just a normal guy who is also a duck, yeah. I guess. <laughs> So he found like an underground lair. I wish we yeah. could have seen more of that because that's interesting. No, it definitely won't come up again, though. Definitely yeah. won't. He just went, whoa, underground. And then he closed it back up and we never see it again. Yeah. Why didn't any like it's such an easy hiding place. Like there wasn't even a key on the grate. It was just like, OK, <laughs> open. Yeah, up. You just pull a thing under it and it opens willy nilly. It opens Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I beat up Zoe. <laughs> I beat up Zoe before I left. She probably they... hates me. <laughs> wow. Wow. There's a choir in my house for some reason. I guess I am just a bad parent. I thought that was a the Big Brain Academy logo. Whoa, they shaved his head too. <laughs> Captain Von Trapp in that brochure straight up looked like uh the uh -huh. the bad German guy from Inglorious mm. Illegitimate Children. <laughs> Illegitimate Children. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the that's a good name. Yeah. That's that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> They need to make a parody of that movie and call it that. <laughs> I love my children. They made a sign for me. And they sang Sound of Music. But like if, uh, what's wanted. his name, Van Trapp, looked like that guy, Von then Trapp. they got the wrong guy because that guy was a Nazi and he's not supposed to be a Nazi, right? Well, isn't von trapp he was like in the german military and they want to bring him back for world war ii and mm. that's why him and his family escape so maybe yeah. 
Maybe Von Trapp is an Elseworld that guy. Mm, I see. He's like, instead of becoming like a really scary Nazi, he becomes not one. <laughs> Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation? Whoa. Are you some kind of Nazi? Uh-oh. Oh. Of course they're the ninjas. Chekhov's done. Chekhov's, Chekhov's gun. done. Chekhov's gun. Don't introduce a Korean family in the first act. You're not going to use in the third. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I'm actually not even teamed up with you guys. I just, I just don't like him. I thought that would be cool. <laughs> so where's Shortikus? Share. <laughs> <laughs> Please put share on. <laughs> I don't care. North Korea <laughs> record scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if your last name is Kim or your first name, then hey, there's Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu's the real hero. <laughs> <laughs> or the villain. <laughs> it's not Howard Ooh, anymore. Or Greg, no. whatever the duck's name is. <laughs> I think Howard's the dad's name. <laughs> Howard the dad. Howard the dad. Marvel Perfect. Studios, Howard the dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kerchunk. the sequel to Howard the Duck where he has a family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are they taking her hostage? Why don't they take one of the kids? Like, she hasn't even been, like, in this movie at all. Well, that's precisely why she needs to get her... They need to get their money's worth out that's of That's true. <laughs> no. You just have C4 casually. Set oh, yeah, scope, she gets her C4 hair wrecked. Kind of, she becomes a... Uh, the burn lady from Spy Kids. The now I've gone lady. Super Saiyan 3 and lost my eyebrows. <laughs> I like how she just stood there and took it. The flames <laughs> to the face. Yeah. Could it, I mean, in my experience, when a flame comes at your head really quickly, you back up pretty, pretty fast. <laughs> you typically, yeah, dodge it. Also, who is this guy? He looks familiar. <laughs> Literally every movie grits. Who is this guy? He looks familiar. <laughs> Here, let me Google it. Oh, it's so-and-so. <laughs> From this movie that Ubu has no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, whenever we watched Spy Kids 2, I was like throwing a fit about like, that's Mike Judge. That's Mike Judge. And you like didn't care at all. <laughs> I guess that's fair because I still don't know. Mike Judge is the voice of Hank Hill from King of the Hill and also the creator of Hank, Hank of the Hill. Hank I did of the that Hill. Last time, too. <laughs> Hank of the Hill. Hank of the Hill. He is also the voice of Beavis and Butthead and also the creators of them. He was Dang. Professor something in Pixels, so there's a connection. That's pretty good. So we said we we're going to watch Pixels at some point. Also, it's Go. not. <laughs> As powdery, but okay, the man is dead now. <laughs> I thought that would be like a cream or something. Oh, well. Bonk. Bonk. Ew. What was that? Milk? Ew. I don't know where my mom is. <laughs> I think she's dead. Oh. Why did she grab him like that? <laughs> I can't answer you. <laughs> Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. T. I didn't see anything else that he's over. been in, but he looks really familiar. I mean, he's been in other stuff, but I didn't recognize it. I do. He does look kind of familiar. I just don't know why. So I'm sure I've seen something with him in it, but yeah. he wasn't like the main character or something. Yeah, probably. Maybe I just remember this movie from when I was a child. Yeah, I'm just remembering this movie. <laughs> <laughs> You look up his uh, filmography and it's the pacifier twice. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, this is whenever uh, they were like, okay, we got to get Vin Diesel for Fast and Furious. <laughs> They're like, imagine if it wasn't some kids in this man. Ew, bro. What is wrong with that baby? Yeah. It looks like the gravy he was eating in the first act. <laughs> yeah, that would explain diaper. it. 
Ah! Dead. You know cars have brakes, right? You don't just have to scream. Uh, Maybe that robot part the girl was holding in the principal's office Mm, was his brake. Got it. Yeah, she was test driving his car. (laughs) Dude, the other day I was driving to work Mm -hmm. and I noticed I was going a little bit over the speed limit. And I was like, oh, I need to slow down. I want I don't want the cops to see me and pull me over. That would suck. Yeah. And just as I said that, I saw sirens and my heart dropped. Oh, yeah. But it was like an ambulance, but like a normal car sized ambulance. OK. And so my heart unsunk. But I was also like, what, what is the that? Heck is that? <laughs> Does it, it exist purely to scare me? <laughs> yeah, it's only it's a ghost. <laughs> they just they just, you know, someone calls help, help. My husband's having a heart attack and they just like throw throw the lady's husband into like the back seat of. The yeah, train. into the trunk of the ambulance <laughs> car. <laughs> like, I don't know what good it does. And then I they like- all come out. I like how he thought he was so cool and then he got electrocuted. <laughs> Lulu, Peter, Tyler. Yoink! <laughs> At least his eyebrows and get burned off. Yeah, that's all he's got. <laughs> yeah, he's got to keep the little hair he's got left. I got to look up Vin Diesel with hair now. <laughs> <laughs> Just Photoshop an afro onto him. That's what he looked like in the 70s. Diesel hair. I spelled his name so wrong. No way. No way. Ew. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Smart choice on his part. This is disgusting. (laughs) Bro, ew. We're probably just so used to it. (laughs) That's true, but still, it doesn't look right. What on earth? (laughs) Boom, dead. He could definitely roll more. What Mountain Dew? <laughs> the Mountain Dew. Oh, mustard gas. <laughs> mustard gas. Yeah, you can't really Mountain hold your Dew breath if it's mustard gas. gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I just got blasted with, but uh, it's gone now. <laughs> so you're telling me he could have just run fast enough and hit the switch? Probably. Hmm. I'm guessing that, like, there would be a, a trigger on, like, every other tile on the floor. Yeah. And it just the Mountain Dew dimension would open up. The Mountain Dew dimension. <laughs> no, not the Mountain Dew dimension. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to think of what else that could be because, obviously, it's, like, acid. Yeah, I was thinking, really like, the gross. Nickelodeon goo. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm st- I'm hosting the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> no, I'm not Nick Cannon, but I am bald. <laughs> or Jack Black. <laughs> Was it Jack Black at one point? I just remember Nick Cannon. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember Jack Black did it, and apparently it went over so well for like three years in a row after that. Huh. He, was, he was the host. No clue. Like... I typically don't care about award shows, adult or children or anything like that, like no matter my age. But when I found out Jack Black was hosting the Kids' Choice Awards, I was legit excited. (laughs) Like, I'll watch it. I don't know what's going on, but I'll watch it. (laughs) I don't know what best makeup means, but Jack Black is funny in Nacho Libre. (laughs) Wow. my back. What did he say to open it? (laughs) He Open. said Peter Panda, and I guess that's the secret password. But he uh, said Peter Panda dance like five minutes ago. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> she was never now a good neighbor. Can... You just killed her. <laughs> I'm not a good neighbor either. <laughs> it's a it's Cheeto the machine puff. that makes <laughs> an ice cube. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's the machine from Spy Kids that makes McDonald's. Yeah, it's the Ma- McDonald's <laughs> microwave. Dude. Dude. Five gum. Five gum? <laughs> it's the gum from Willy Wonka when he pulls out a machine. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a ever- everlasting gobstopper. Uh-huh. 
I want the cops to catch me. I want to go to prison. They would be like probably <laughs> shooting at them by now. Um, but I'm okay. Sure they're gonna they're gonna outrun the cops holding a small child. Yeah. Why are they gonna shoot the people that weren't even there? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> what a plot twist. I thought that was like a low pitched laugh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like you wouldn't notice that. Very obvious head tilt and eyebrow <laughs> raise. The only person who does that is James Spader, and you are not him. <laughs> 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 Just shoots him. It's okay if I don't find the ghost, at least you're dead. Mm -hmm. Here's the five gum. Wow, I never knew what he said because I never watched this with subtitles. <laughs> okay, Vin <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> specifically target that area <laughs> that area of this man <laughs> oof, oof. And gary the duck dies too because he is attached to the man i love Got how she just violently. moved his arm and he decided okay i'll just slip over for you <laughs> 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 they could have put him on a wire at least to make it look like she was doing something <laughs> all the neighbors are just watching <laughs> yeah <laughs> this active shooter in the driveway. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hmm. That's typically not how it goes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I guess if, like, no one's technically fired. And yeah. And you just see this man with, like, a massive mafia-looking gun get his, uh, get a delicate spot bit by a duck in the driveway. <laughs> that'd be pretty fun. On that, yeah, that'd be, like, you know, honey, get the camera. This is, I'm sending this to AFV. <laughs> AFV, which was popping <laughs> off during when this came out. Yeah, it's like, dude, that guy got hurt in the balls. This is perfect for AFV. This that's is, all they, that's like their favorite thing over there. This is going to win first place, and I'm going to win 500 <laughs> bucks from, yeah. what's his and name? I'm gonna get Steve to, Harvey. No, not Steve. <laughs> what I don't remember name? the, whenever we were growing up, the AFV host was... I don't remember his name, but he's the guy who hosts like Dancing with the Stars or yeah. whatever now. Oh. But initially it was Bob Saget. Yeah, not him. I didn't like the Bob Saget years. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, if it makes you feel any better, he's not hosting it anymore. Yes, that is true. <laughs> For multiple reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this guy. This guy. Um, Tom Berger. Berger. <laughs> Bergeron. Tom Berger. <laughs> Good old Tom Berger. Tom Berger, who strangely looks like my father. I don't like it. <laughs> Makes me very uncomfortable. Apparently, um, what's his face? Alfonso Ru Ru Riviera. The guy from, yeah, Fresh Prince of uh, Bella is name. hosting it now. Yeah, Carlton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, I remember that. Almost said Wayne Brady. He That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're different people. They are. <laughs> But I would I would be more inclined to watch it if Wayne Brady was hosting. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you get a, a Who's Line reference on any show, and I'm going to be like, oh, that's cool. Of course not. You're Colin Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Mockery would be good, too. That'd be pretty funny. Especially if, like, half the show isn't even watching funny videos. It's just him doing improv with yeah. Ryan. Blah, oh, she blah, returned. Blah, blah. <laughs> Why is he over there? The, the old checklist of Loki and Nanny will return in the next Avengers. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> She's the Scarlet Witch. Good. Oh, no. <laughs> She's in the multiverse of madness. Oh, I didn't know Climb she is the multiverse. Song of Music. Song of Music. Hmm. <laughs> the Song of Music. <laughs> The hills are alive in the song of music. Because <laughs> I'm singing it right now. Eyes. <gasps> <laughs> See, look at that one. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound like Obi-Wan? <laughs> look at that one. It's alive, Anakin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> what on earth? I guess he realized he was a jerk and that he wants yeah. to be in the musical. He wants to be in a nunnery. He wants to be a nun. Yeah. 
which <laughs> I don't think is possible. I think nuns are strictly women, but I don't know. Yeah. They would say, well, it's nice that you want to be a nun, but I think you're looking for being a monk. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> friar. none. <laughs> No, I I want to wear black, not brown. I don't want to have my hair cut like a monk. Please. <laughs> Please. I've seen the weird incomplete donut haircut they have. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't like it. Please. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows nuns get to do, get all sorts of crazy hairstyles. Yeah, you would never know, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Is well, that it? it's over now. Yep. 10 out of 10. I like how the last shot of the movie... Oh, that's probably one we could oh, watch, Oh, the too. game plan. I remember that. Yeah. I don't remember it being as cringe. Up, oh, Smash Mouth! Smash Mouth! Anyway. Um, all right. What did you think? Honestly... Excuse me. <laughs> it's exactly how I remembered it. Yeah. But through the eyes of an adult, I saw all the weirdness, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll... I'll give it like half a point more because Smash Mouth is in it twice. Yeah, twice, but, yeah. Um, it's a theme song. Yeah. 10 out of 10 sing, for the banana peel. He is the pacifier. <laughs> he is the pacifier, <laughs> man. <laughs> exactly. Um, I do like how they ended the movie on a shot of the principal dressed like a nun. Yeah. Not even like the main character, just him. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't even the principal. <laughs> Matt Pat needs to make a film theory of uh, that he's the main character all along. Ooh. Yeah, his character went through more change than anyone else's, I would say. Yeah. What, Vin, D Vin Diesel learned how to change a diaper? That's it? Lame. This man yeah, accepted his um, inner hatred, or not accepted it, but <laughs> came to terms <laughs> with it. <laughs> you know what? I used to not understand why I hate you so much, but now I'm perfectly comfortable with it, and that's my character development. <laughs> he learned to express himself in healthy manners. <laughs> yeah, like dressing up like a nun. Exactly. All right. Well, another that was, one uh, in the books. Bites the duds. I mean, bites bites the duds. <laughs> that's what I ended up. All right. <laughs> Uh, y'all have a wonderful week! Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Turned into a Rick and Morty character. Woo! <laughs> Morty, I'm having a wonderful week. <laughs> <laughs>